Here we go. Kids and allowances. It can cause some serious debate and get ready for more. Now that a new study shows the average kid gets 30 bucks a week. 30 bucks a week. That's a lot, right? It, it sure is. Shocked? Well, you're not alone. And the question is, what are they doing with all that money, these kids? Our Joyce Evans joins us live in Marlton, <laughs> Burlington County. And uh, folks have a lot to say about this one, Joyce. Well, they sure do. Ten bucks at the most is what we heard from parents who agree with giving an allowance. But more people think like I do. What are you going to do with all that money? What do you need money for? Get a job. Have you been hit up for an allowance? I have. They would like an allowance. We don't give allowances. We um, feel like they have to earn their keep by being a part of our family. So they all get chores and they all have to do them. That practice by the Silence family visiting from Indiana may sound about as antiquated as those historic fixtures in Old City, especially when you look at what a recent survey found about kids' allowances. You wish you had an allowance? Uh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's always nice to get extra money. How about an average of 30 bucks a week? No, only if they earn it. But I, with grandkids, you give them everything. <laughs> your own kids, you're a little bit more strict with. That's a pretty good salary for being a child. Well, I have a nine-year-old and a six-year-old, and we haven't started allowances yet. But when they do start, when we do start, my wife and I, we're going to make them earn it. The earning it part is getting lost through generations, says marriage and family therapist Dr. George James, who says he's not at all surprised that the survey also found kids are saving very little, if any, of their allowance money. Because there's so many ways that uh, children and young folks are being pulled to spend their money. Apps and video games don't come cheaply. Parenting expert Michael Cavallaro says it's more than the cost of things. Everything's instant gratification. And that goes along with the shifting culture. It goes along with the video game obsession. I got to have it now. I got to get my, my app. I've got to get my game. And there's no forethought to the future. It's all immediate gratification. Mm -hmm. And so that's part of the parenting skill is to teach them that. Maybe saying half of what uh, you want. Say it's $100. Well, half is going to come from your allowance. And if you haven't saved that amount, then you can't get it. And it's OK to say no. Seven-year-old Ziva has been holding on to her birthday money. Do you save your money? Uh-huh. Really? Yeah, because there's something I want. It costs a lot of money, and I'm saving up to get it. How about that? Seven years old, Ziva has her eye on a doll that she is going to buy. She's only seven. She's already learned the value of money and how to budget it. The experts are saying that's what parents need to do, start them young. And if you cannot give a regular allowance or any allowance at all, you need to be honest. Explain that to your kids. Money is tight. Jason and Shayna. No doubt. <laughs> Such a debate. So, Joyce, your story got us thinking. How much is too much for a weekly allowance? Yeah, that's the question. We want folks to chime in at fox29.com slash go vote. So here are your options right there. More than 20 bucks, more than 30, or if your parents are high rollers, yeah. more than 40. <laughs> uh, I've got a 13-year-old and a 15-year-old, and our rule is two bucks a day if you do your chores without anybody telling you to do it, which amounts to 14 bucks wow. a week. All right, And that's, that's actually fair. below what we're even asking people. Joyce, I have a feeling I know which way you're going to yeah. go. What do you think about this? I got nothing. I got a job. I babysat <laughs> for some shoes I wanted that I knew my mother would never buy for me because they were impractical. And I did other things. And when I got old enough, I got a job at McDonald's. Yes. Get a job, kids. I agree. Get and a you job. are a very practical woman. It seems yeah. to have worked out very I well, Joyce. I, I agree. And I think, you know, like <laughs> I try. as your story points out, Joyce, they spend it on the silliest apps and video games and stuff they can't even physically have. Yeah. It's just out there in cyberspace somewhere. Yes. I can't stand that about yeah. I'm okay you with know what, but though, if they, if they earn that money, they, they earn that mm -hmm. money, then fine. Spend it on an app and all that. But you got to save a little bit for a rainy yeah. day. Yeah. I Amen. like the higher allowance with a stipulation that you have to save a portion yeah, of it. Yeah, I like it too. All right.